If you had to give a homily on a word or phrase of the Our Father, which one would you pick? This was the question that I raised to a class of of men that I was forming to be deacons in the Diocesan Deacon Formation Program. And one of them gave a really interesting response. He said, the word that he focused on, or would focus on, of the Our Father is the word as. On earth, as it is in heaven. Because as he stated, the word as is really where the rubber meets the road, where the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of earth collide. And he was saying, how can we bring the kingdom of heaven to us here today, to welcome it, to make this world very much like the kingdom of heaven or a reflection of what we are called to be and what heaven is called to be like? It's an interesting question, especially as we look at the world around us and it seems like we have drifted very far from what the kingdom of God calls us to. We see division and hurt and pandemic all around us. And I think it invites us to think about that word. How are we bringing about the kingdom of God here and now? I read an interesting article recently in which the, uh, the author was making a common observation before all of the uh, protests began in the wake of the death of George Floyd. And he was looking at young people involved in politics and activism, which is an awesome thing. And the church has this great history of social justice. But he was raising up an interesting question. He said, why is it that so many people are involved in, in social justice and yet those same young people don't get involved in social justice within the church? And he was raising the question of, and making a point of, maybe the church should be the ideal kingdom. Maybe it should be the place that witnesses to the world what the kingdom should look like, what the kingdom of God should look like here and now. It's an interesting point that really made me think about how are we as church creating or falling short of making this, this, the church a kingdom of God, a reflection of what the kingdom of God is called to be. So I invite you today as you think about your day and as you think about the kingdom of God that you are part of by virtue of your baptism, in your own unique situation, in your own unique life, how is God inviting you to welcome in the kingdom of God now? to live it out in the way you live today, on earth as it is in heaven.